All right, so um, woke up this morning. Any of you that have toddlers, are they specific on what they eat? Like I'll eat anything. I I just eat like food is food, and I eat it cold, warm. I eat it whatever. But um, my son Red, he uh, he doesn't like leftovers. I, I tried to feed him two separate kinds of leftovers. Didn't work. Aubrey got up, I told her, hey babe, Brett's not eating. She made him a fresh set of eggs, he ate it right away. What's up with that? Like kids, kids should be thankful that they get food and, and he doesn't want to eat leftovers? That just weirds me out. Uh, anyways, woke up this morning to a text from a customer. They're wanting to sell their house, so I'm gonna call them right now and uh, get that on. I'm gonna touch base with them right now and then I'll run the numbers backwards. This is Josh, how may I help you? Did anyone pick up? If you can hear me, I can't hear you. They hung up. I guess it wasn't important. I've been working very diligently to get every single one of my calls today. I've missed three because I've been on other appointments and things, but um, I've had three offers for business lines of credit in excess of $250,000. Like these, these companies that are offering stuff like that, they've got to be a scam. There's no way. I mean, our business is great. Our business does good business. Um, we have a great balance sheet, but there's no way that, I don't know, like, like the business, I'm in the service industry. I'm in real estate, so the business is me. So if I stop servicing, like why would someone risk $250 on me? It, it, it blows my mind. Um, but anyways, that person who just called and didn't answer, that was probably a spam call. And then I don't know how much you got of the last one. Going to do a final walkthrough right now for a closing tomorrow. So I just called the other agent to make sure that everything was good on that and uh, my wife and I were still looking at houses tomorrow too I've got to check in with her I think we're gonna start at three okay I'm gonna call her real quick I haven't got to talk to her all day so I'll talk to you guys later I'm gonna chat with my wife hey I hate it when people don't listen to me man <laughs> are they not out no they're not out so She's asking if they can have possession by 9 a.m. so that they can get them out by 9 a.m. I, I don't know without asking the other realtor. Let me let me call the buyer real quick and just okay. Like I still need to do the two o'clock today because oh, today I, I, I know it, yeah. it's probably not it's probably going to in okay. in in conditions. But still, I mean, you tell me what you need to do. You can call me back. Yeah, I'll call them. We're still doing the 2 o'clock today, and I'll let you know about tomorrow. They may want to do another one tomorrow. I don't know yet. I know, and I hate that for you, which is crazy. Uh, but, but, so, call her and call me back. Yes, sir. Bye. What's up? The uh, seller's parents are still there. So, depending on how the place looks at the 2 o'clock, we may need to do, like, an 8 o'clock in the morning. Are you open at 8 in the morning? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I can do that. Kidding. Okay. Yeah. Well, let, let me see how the 2 o'clock goes, but uh, but I just called Todd, and I was like, they're completely out-out, because they weren't on Monday. Like, are they now completely out-out? He's like, let me call and check. They know they need to be. He called me back, and he's like, their parents are still there. Let me see how the 2 o'clock goes to let you know what we're going to do in the morning, and I'll keep you up to date. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's funny. Um, I really don't have much going on. I'm going through a car wash right now. Spent all day in the office doing uh, paperwork. Uh, I'm going to go look at some houses tomorrow with my wife. Yeah, that's about it. GoPro, power off. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, it's still Thursday, and now I am showing houses to my last customer of the day. 
and I'm going the wrong way to the next house so um, hopefully this GPS corrects here shortly and I go the right way and I'm in a neighborhood I'm not on a main street I'm in a neighborhood so I'm driving less than 10 miles an hour because you never want to speed in a neighborhood especially with little kids and there's sidewalks everywhere there's playgrounds everywhere in this neighborhood this is an awesome awesome little neighborhood so um, yeah looking forward to taking a look at this next house Uh, one of the things that helps me find the houses is to always pay attention to the listing company on it. So this is, uh, so I know whose sign to look for. Because sometimes the signs can be confusing. And especially in a neighborhood this big where there's a lot of signs, um, it can definitely get confusing. So... Okay, finally found it. Okay. Pull out to the house. I will see you guys when I finish showing these people houses. I just did a Facebook live video on how to prep a house. So I will, um, I will um, uh, show you that video when I upload everything. All right. See you guys soon. Okay, my customer is not here yet, so I thought I would take you through this house real quick. So I like to try to get to houses early and prep them. Um, like this room, I've got the lights turned on everywhere and I've got the blinds slightly adjusted a little bit. When I'm showing houses, the very first house that you go to, if you just show up a little early and do a little bit of prep work, it helps. Well, you can't tell because of the glare, because um, of the sun. If you just do a little bit of prep work, it helps a lot. Uh, just, just, just letting in natural light alone helps a ton. So, if you're out showing houses and you can get there before the customer, then just do a little prep work. I thought I had those lights turned on. How do I turn those pendant lights on? Um, I don't know. Oh, look, the school bus is going by. You guys see the school bus going by right there? Uh, the camera didn't zoom in fast enough. But this is a cool little four bed house available. And uh, it was real easy to run in. Do all the prep work real quick before the customer gets here just so that the house shows a little better. Does it hurt? You know, we're in sales. We help people buy and sell houses. And you want to always try to give the house the best light possible. And even when the customers are following me when I'm showing houses, I still run through the house and do this to them all so that they show well before I go back and meet the customer. I'll let the customer in. I won't stop them from going in the house and looking at the house. But I still run through and turn on all the lights and everything real quick also. So, yeah. You guys have any real estate questions? Want to know anything that's going on in the market in Oklahoma? Oklahoma City, Stillwater, Shawnee, Yukon, Mustang, um, Perkins, anything like that. Just always feel free to shoot me a comment. Give me a call. Josh, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate, Paramount, 405-315-7965. Thanks a lot for watching me prep this home. Have a great one, guys. Share it with all your friends who are getting ready to put their houses for sale so they know what to do. Bye. So uh, we're going to nix that one. And now we're going to the last one. And I requested permission to get into another home that they already have under contract. So uh, two more houses with these customers. And then I'll be heading home and I'll give you a summary update on everything throughout the day today. But uh, that house had a package on the front porch. So I went ahead and asked the agent if they wanted me to put that inside the front door and they said yes. So we got that safely secured inside the house for them and now we're going to the third home. So, Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. At the end of the day, wrap up. Talk to you later.